Um, why do male humans produce so many spermatozoa, and isn't it a wasteful process? Oh, God. <laughs> well, <laughs> well it, it is. It's, it, it, it's a, the, the phenomenon is called anisogamy. It's the, it's the definition of what sex is. Females, almost without exception, are the sex that produce single or small numbers of large sex cells, whereas males produce um, huge numbers of small sex cells. Okay. And females are constrained. Obviously, everybody wants, in inverted commas, to produce as many sex cells as possible, but females are constrained because you need to have a minimum size for an egg, because an egg doesn't just contain the DNA. Um, it contains a whole pile of, of cellular material, cytoplasm, and, and mitochondria and food and that kind of stuff. Uh, bear in mind, a hen's egg is one cell. Okay, so that's a, that's a big cell. Um, and uh, males are not constrained in that. So you could argue um, that in a male-male competition situation, and this does happen, I'm don't, don't, not sure it happens in humans, it certainly happens in plenty of mammals, uh, that if, female, if a male mates with a female, um, he wants to generate vast quantities of sperm to flood out any sperm that might be there from a, from a predecessor. And we can see that happening in many creatures. Females actually can sometimes choose sperm. They can store sperm in several compartments and choose the one they like best. Um, so that is the standard argument about this big difference in sexual strategy.